Okay, hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode of On Point EDC. Today we're actually premiering a what might be a little familiar to you um, in terms of design and the product, but from a brand new brand as well as a new product line itself. So a little bit about smooth precision pens. They're a custom pen maker that evolved and elevated above the crowded $100 machined custom EDC pen market. With the owner and founder Kelvin's flagship pens uh, always in a constant state of end-to-end -end improvement from design to fit and finish with every new iteration, he found himself at a crossroads where it was really also time to finally upgrade the branding and even the business model um, to match their class leading products. His popular popular EDC pens were best known for being insanely smooth and precise, so the new Smooth Precision Pens brand name was really a natural fit. Now, in terms of uh, the type of product, this is a custom pen, some key characteristics and design language when you're looking for something within that space. You're gonna want a, of course, that unique design language, something that's fun, fidgetable in terms of its actuation and premium materials and construction are a must. This is the Smooth Bolt Action Pen V2, um, and this familiar signature design, um, you know, you've seen that design language from within the premium EDC classic, the Thai Scribe, but it's now been refined into a luxury level product beyond just the EDC enthusiast community. Um, and, you know, with the benefit of every lesson learned from those previous iterations have now been distilled into this new model. It still uses the Pilot G2 refill, which is still included, and it's now backed by a risk-free 30-day trial money-back guarantee, which is awesome. So with that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this piece in hand, and take a closer look. All right, now before we dive into the product, one thing I did want to highlight uh, was an outside-of-the-box uh, thought process here. Even though this is actually inside the face of the box as you open it, uh, you're going to see this, that smooth performance guarantee. And uh, I think it's actually really different because most of these types of pens, when you buy them, right, uh, whether it be you know, made out of brass or copper, or steel or titanium. A lot of times these nice, tough machined pens come kind of come with this uh, lifetime guarantee. Okay, hey, well, uh, you know, if anything goes wrong, we'll fix it, we'll make it right. This is where smooth performance takes it an extra step. They not only cover you for if the pen fails, they cover you for if it's just not what you were thinking and you know, you're not excited, you're not thrilled to have it. You don't have to worry about them keeping and updating and, and fixing something that you don't even like. Like if, if you get this, then they're gonna cover you. Um, and if you don't end up liking it and you know, maybe it just wasn't what you were expecting, then you can send it back. So I think that's really cool. It allows you to try something, especially something when it's, when it's within this premium tier. The pricing um, at time of filming this is targeting uh, $150 in terms of the full list price. Of course, there will be promotions and whatnot, and then it'll also be carried by various dealers, um, or you could buy it directly from Smooth Performance. But uh, that is definitely something that, or excuse me, smooth precision. Um, that's something that is cool and, and a little bit different than what you see out there. So I thought that was really neat. And, you know, it's something, again, it's outside of the box. And the, the fun thing is that it's printed on the inside of the box. So kind of the first part of your, um, your just your interactions and your experience as you open the box. You know, it, there's there's some fanfare to it. it. It's it's There's something more to it. And well, when we get into that, I think you guys are gonna see why. So let's go ahead and get back down into the box. All right, now before we dive in, quick customary wristwatch check today. I actually do have my Seiko Astron on. Uh, definitely check the channel for the full review. But one of the reasons why I kind of paired this watch with this review, not only are they both using, you know, of course, uh, titanium, which is very important, I think they also follow a similar kind of parallel in terms of their philosophy. So when the Seiko Astron was first released, it was the new kid on the block. It was uh, really taking quartz movements and uh, doing some wild stuff that had not really been done before. And it was taking it 
at a much higher end um, you know entry point this was before you could really scale quartz movements and make them very affordable similarly um, you know within this big movement of EDC pens and bolt action pens titanium milled pens is you know there's existed the the brand prior to this where Essentially, with every iteration, they were looking to improve while other brands were really just looking to scale, right? They wanted to increase their margins, uh, decrease cost, and, and just make it to where they could pump out more pens and sell more pens. In the meantime, um, Smooth Precision was kind of born out of the idea of going the other direction, where they were just every iteration trying to improve, um, tighten up tolerances, um, and, and everything from the design to the fit and finish, the quality of execution, everything from that standpoint has just been going up and up and up. And, you know, with those increases, they kind of, I think, uh, outgrew just the strictly EDC space. Um, and I think now uh, connoisseurs of just craftsmanship, finely built products are really going to resonate with this piece. I mean, you think of something like a Chris Reeves Sabenza. This is my Sabenza 31. It's a small Sabenza. And a lot of people would think, hey, you know, a bench made knife is also made in America. What's the difference? Well, for some folks, these key differences, the level of finishing here, these beveled edges, um, the design, how well everything's integrated, how great it feels in hand, uh, the crowned spine, the fine finish on that blade, the level of craftsmanship on a factory edge that looks that good. Check that out. So a lot of these details can be lost when you just look at the spec sheet in terms of what steels used, what the handle material is, and where that the product is produced. Um, and I think that has a similar, again, uh, parallel to what you're thinking of when you're buying a pen like this is, hey, it's titanium, it's a bolt action pen, it uses a Pilot G2 um, insert. So there are cheaper uh, options that are out there that provide these things, but what they don't provide are a couple of things, right? Some of the intangible things in terms of design, um, you know, uh, ingenuity and those types of things. Um, and, you know, the, the key uh, essence in terms of how signature this look is and, um, you know, and that it's a look that it's developed on its own, um, you know, by its own maker are fantastic. But then there's also these finer details in terms of the beveling on this clip, the very fine little jimping for grip, the tolerances on the screw, the little extra level of you know, thoughtfulness where you're getting extra material here so you can guide and center that in so that the threads always line up. Just those little things here and there, or they seem little for many folks. And for some people, they just wouldn't appreciate those things because they haven't really thought it out that much. But for those of us who are big connoisseurs of that ingenuity, that creativity, that just eccentric level of fit finish and just experience look at that you know another little surprise detail signed on uh, you know micro thin laser etching just ultra precise um and look at that action even me as a lefty i'm still having a great time in terms of action with this piece but if you have if you're a righty you can even have more fun because you can use, oh, oh, excuse me. Then thank you for those of you who um, blessed me or, or gazoon tighted me during that. Sorry about that. But this thing, again, it's part of the experience, right? It's a good time in terms of its actuation, in terms of the way that it feels in hand. There's just a really a lot to love. So there's the way it feels in hand, which is fantastic. And then there's the details when you really get down and you look at it, right? Similar to here, like you get into those details, you look at the, the texturing on the dial, you look at the finishing on that ceramic bezel. Uh, then you think about some of the ingenuity with the technology that's involved with the GPS updating to have 100% accuracy. So 
here again it's that holistic approach to where it's not about hitting a price point it's about just making the best product possible it's not about scaling up so they can do more and and make more money off of a cheaper product that we already know is good enough it's about raising the bar to see what the best of the best is um, that's out there so i definitely commend kelvin and the whole team at smooth precision for taking this big leap and you know the rebrand and and everything like that it's very very exciting to see a new chapter right and and it's the crazy thing is that this first chapter of smooth precision as has already such a high point that's established by everything that came before um versus it just being kind of hey this is just a passion project we'll see how it goes like we already know that there is you know a history of excellence that's there and that's something that not every upstart pen brand has so um you know, here we have actually uh, a special kit. You can see this is where the Crazy Horse leather um, notebook uh, holder and notebook came from. And, you know, it has the little details here, which is fantastic. And I just dig that, it, you know, the that's where that came from. Here's where the pen came out of. So it's all very inclusive. This is something that will be available as kind of an upgrade, or you can buy just the pen, or you can just buy these things separately. But one thing that was fantastic uh, about this was this, <laughs> this notebook and the holder. I mean, obviously the quality of leather is great. If you know anything about leather, you know about that horse leather in terms of that hide and the way that it's going to retain that color, the way that it's gonna pick up all the different oils and weathering and patina that you're gonna love. Uh, it, it's it's fantastic. This is basically a wallet. You can stick bills in there, cards in here, IDs, and then have a place to take notes. And then you also do have this very well engineered spot for your pen which is great right you're not damaging the pen trying to hang it through here or anything like that because everything fits in its slot and is actually stopped here so you don't have to engage the pocket clip there and it's very secure and again this is something you could either throw in your bag throw in your back pocket or anything like that and now you're really protecting that investment it's all cohesive all same branding I just think that was really really cool of them to do and another thing that's another option is this maintenance kit which is also very new and again outside of the box right so instead of you always having to send things back to them right and hey they'll take care of stuff that you send back to them here now you're being empowered to do the stuff on your own and in the knife world there are brands that don't even want you to disassemble their stuff and they say that'll void the warranty now here is how much they believe in their product they're putting the power in your hands check that out so now you get the tool here and you can disassemble reassemble realign right when i say realign here we go uh, you can actually align the clip through there and then tighten the screw through here everything will be perfect just like the day you bought it you also get a few extra pieces bits and bobs there in terms of some of the renewable parts uh, that you might lose or wear out over time so you already kind of have that maintenance kit maintenance kit going and then you have this guy right here which is already preset um, in terms of the torque specs so you won't over torque if you use this because that's something a lot of people worry about so if you use this toolkit it will break traction once it gets to the desired torque spec so i just think that that's awesome um, and you know again it just shows that kind of outside of the box mentality and uh, really looking at the overall experience and not just the product right and that's the difference between a good brand and a good product uh, you can have lots of great products but if there's not really a brand or a brand experience you don't necessarily get that kind of end game in terms of the longevity here so here they've had a great product for a long time and now they're just really stepping everything else up to really match match um, that that product to where now the rest of the experience the brand their business model has been shifted and has become more premium and yes it's gonna go a little upstream but if that's what you're looking for then that's what you want and I'm that kind of guy where yeah I want the latest the greatest and the best and that's something that I know that I can find um, with smooth precision so I just think that that's really neat um, let's get into some of the details of this particular piece 
So the site, of course, isn't up at the time of me filming this, but it should be by the time that this gets published. So um, in terms of, you know, the shop and the different options and everything, not quite, uh, you know, ready yet, but the product itself, you can see I have it in hand, is immaculate. So uh, it's 5.2 inches long, which is a great size, whether it's something pocketable uh, and your shirt breast pocket or your, uh, you know, your pant pocket or here, it's really optimized to where it's versatile, right? And it's still long enough to feel like a full size pen that you would have at your desk, um, you know, or in a little pen holder on your desk. So that's great. Uh, the thickness is only nine and a half millimeters. So it's not ultra thick or anything like that, but it's not super slim. It's just, it feels just right. It feels nice and substantial in your hand. I am a lefty, so, you know, pardon me if this looks weird to you. Um, but yeah, it just feels great. It has, it feels like a pen. It doesn't feel like you're, you know, uh, writing with a tent stake or something like that. So that is, that is very nice, but it's sturdy enough to where, hey, if I need a weapon of opportunity, um, you know, my Marine Corps mind will always turn back on is, uh, I know that I can get solid purchase and this is something that I could use, you know, in some type of, uh, you know, life and death situation. It's nice to have this uh, on you versus something like a Bic, right? So, uh, and then the weight is right underneath an ounce at 0.9 ounces. So very slim, very trim. And then the crazy thing is it's still really solid. Like I'm shaking it. You, do you hear anything clanking around? It's because everything is built to a tolerance to where everything is flush, form fitting. There's no wasted space. They didn't just take a cool exterior design and paste it on top of an existing platform. They built everything from the ground up and it just shows in terms of that level of cohesion and refinement that you're getting within this product uh, that, you know, again, it's not always easy to find stuff like that. And are there cool looking pens that are out there and are there well-built pens? Yes, absolutely. Um, but there's also, you know, a pecking order and a hierarchy and some of the ones that might have anything close to what this pen offers are going to be quite expensive. Um, you know, and the wild thing is there are pens that can be this expensive that aren't even made in the USA and they're not saving you any money. Uh, they're saving themselves money by producing offshore and uh, still charging you, you know, so much. So again, there's just a lot that's in play and, you know, it's more of an overall, uh, I think, enjoyment and impressiveness that really exude out of this product. So in hand, like let's get to, I guess, to some of the closing thoughts here, guys. In hand, really light and balanced, uh, but doesn't feel like it's going to fly away. It's not like ultra light. It just has a nice heft and a nice balance to it. Uh, so it feels great in hand. And again, this is something that's evolved. This is an evolved product uh, that has started out and, you know, then through each iteration kind of distilled into something that I think is really immaculate. And, and um, the crazy thing is this is like just this next stepping stone, right? Until they blow my mind again with an update. But this thing is awesome. So that creative bolt action integration there, you know, it's not adding the bolt uh, assembly or anything like that. It's taking things that were already there. Hey, your pocket clip and now making that a bolt action that is extremely smooth and this finishing, I mean, again, it takes me back to the knife world, to the watch world, to where you can just feel, you can see, you can sense those little refinements and you can appreciate them if you're looking for them. But yeah, they could be overlooked. Uh, and you know, the, for the folks that won't be able to appreciate these, the nice thing is you can take a risk-free shot at seeing if this really speaks to you or not. Um, and I think that just shows again, that supreme level of confidence in their product and in their brand. So uh, in the pocket, very slim and compact silhouette, definitely closer to a standard pen versus some uh, more bulkier customs that are out there. Uh, model variants to be determined. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna come out with some amazing top shelf materials, whether it be Timascus or other uh, materials to build these out of, uh, you know, that fit within every different community, whether it be the EDC community or just the general kind of fine, uh, 
you know, uh, writing community uh, who want these utensils to just be everything and be personalized and, and really be a statement and an extension of your personal style. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I know that's something that Kelvin's been waiting to really unveil uh, with this brand is some of the different options that uh, will be coming in the future. So getting into comparable models there is a lot of bolt action pens on the market but very few if any that really feel quite this refined and while most comparable brands um, have just really been working on scaling up production of a 100 dollar pen to reduce costs and extend margins uh, smooth precision pens again they went that other direction and went to work on continually improving the quality of their product and now even their branding and business model uh, so I mean even outside of the EDC space more expensive pens uh, with less advanced classic lacquered and brass construction have been charging premiums for brand names built mostly on longevity and popularity while smooth precision really built its brand name on you know the objective quality of their products right they didn't just have a cool family name and you know it wasn't popularized and this movie this movement it's not your father's pen or anything like that um, the people who use these pens uh, in the past under a different brand well if you'd ask them to describe them they'd say they're very smooth and precise and smooth precision was born so I there's something that's just cool that they were able to organically create uh, you know this this new uh, more premium and luxurious product so for me guys the bottom line the best really keeps getting better um, so for those again who can appreciate uh, the finer things beyond just the spec sheet Kelvin and smooth precision pens really have you covered and the best part is uh, you know, this is just the beginning of a new chapter, and I'm certain whatever comes next will continue to both impress and inspire. So really happy and honored to be able to premiere this to you guys and be one of the first few with a hands-on um, from that perspective. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.